Let's imagine you're on a beautiful park. Surroundings are looking gorgeous. Sun is shining super brightly. It's like a perfect day to shoot some great quality videos. And I have a question for you. What is the style do you prefer for your image? Would you prefer super clean, super sharp, digital looking image like it is now? Or do you lean to a more cinematic vibe with the colors practically tell a story themselves? I'm guessing you prefer the second one. Today, I'm going to show you how to simply create this filmic look with the powerful plugin called Dehancer. Dehancer is a plugin suited for film like color grading and film effects in DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut. It has dozens of photographic films with truly analog controls. It has also effects such as halation, film grain, and bloom to complete the look that you're going for. But before we dive in, let's just talk about what is this film look and why is it so popular these days? Certain films, such as Kodak 2383 film prints, are known for their characteristic color palette and tonal range. These film prints are specifically designed to provide a unique cinematic feel and aesthetic. High dynamic range, color depth, and film grain structures are the features that distinguish these film prints from the digital format. Some filmmakers believe that these features are combined to help create a deeper emotional connection and give the audience a more immersive experience. It really is, isn't it? The greater the color depth of an image, the more impressive it gets. One of the most important difference between filmic look and digital look is its film grain structure. This grain structure gives the viewer a sense of texture in the image. Film grain offers a natural texture, especially in low-light conditions, as well as a unique characteristic tones. To achieve this filmic look, we can simply look for four important features in our image. One, dynamic range. Two, your color palette. Three, organic look. And lastly, four, your black points. So film generally has a wide dynamic range. This feature ensures that the details are not lost in the light and dark areas. Color palette is, for example, Kodak 2383 film print has a unique color palette. It's known for its warm and rich colors. The film presents a feel that many filmmakers and viewers described as organic because unlike the mathematically generated pixels of our digital cameras, the film has a chemical process that makes it feel like it's organic. One of the most important feature for our filmic look is to preserve our black points in our image, especially in the scenes shot in low light conditions. Digital cameras can sometimes cause loss in these dark areas, but film has a more subtle and smooth transition. Well, it's impossible to deny, of course, uh, some of the great Hollywood films such as Gone Girl or Skyfall aren't cinematic. Although they are shot on digital cameras, filmmakers treated the process as if they are shooting on a film. This brings us to, again, to the Hanser. So you can create so many great looks with the Hanser and you get a, amazing results. So let's take a look at how to actually create this filmic look with the Hanser in DaVinci Resolve. When you first download the plugin, you get a quick guide PDF and it's really detailed. Make sure to check this out. First of all, I'm going to change some settings on my color management to take advantage of all that color space. I'm going to choose DaVinci YRGB color managed and untick this box. And for the color processing mode, I'm going to change it to HDR DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. I will explain this in a second when I apply the enhancer. First, I'm going to create four nodes, nothing too crazy. The first node is going to be my noise reduction node. Let's label that. Second one is going to be primaries. I'm not going to do anything on this right now. If I want to change anything later, I'm going to come back to it and change it with my primaries. My third node is going to be my CST, my color space transform. Let's add that. And I shot this with Sony A7S3. So my input color space is Sony S Gamut 3 Cine and S Log 3. Output color space is 
break 709, output gamma is gamma 2.4. Our last node is, is going to be the hand search. Let's drop that onto our node. I didn't actually apply my noise reduction. It's not that too much. I'm just going to make it like around two. Now, when you first drop the hand surf on a node, you'll see all these tabs open. This is the default setting. It looks kind of complicated, but press on Alt and click on any tab. They will collapse on each other. And now you can do your changes one by one. First, we will change the source to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. That's why I changed my color management settings. So we have exposure comp here and temperature comp. Just, I think it's too bluish for me. After my input setting, before changing anything else, I will first choose my print film. I will choose Kodak 2383 print film. This one is actually kind of cool, but for this tutorial, I will choose this one. After that, I will go to the film section and we have all these film emulations, like over 40, 50, I think, film emulations right here. And you can choose any of it. They all look perfect to me. For the film, I'm going to choose Kodak Vision 3. 250D. D is for day. T is for tungsten interior lighting scenes. I will enable film developer. Film developer is for your contrast and gamma corrections. And let's give it a little bit contrast and gamma. Okay. One of the great tools of the Hanser is film compression. When you enable this, you will see the highlights are preserve all the details. It's going to compress the image a little bit, make it look a bit more organic. You can change your white points according to that. Give it a little bit saturation with color density. Expand is like for your black and white points. For this, I will check the monitor for clipping indicator. This is another great tool and you can also see your false colors. If you have clipping shadows or black points in your scene, it will show in blue in the black areas and it will show in red, orange in the white areas. According to that, you can decide our black points. Let's just play around with print settings. I want a little bit more color contrast. Now let's move on to other effects. We have color heat. This is the part where you create a look for your image. Enable this. As you can see, if you go to yellow, will, your image will be yellow. You have to make very subtle adjustments with this one because it's too powerful. So I think the Hanser is so good on film grain. It has all these ready to use film grain profile, but actually you can customize it. I don't like too much grain in my shot. I will again make it very subtle. Collision is one of my favorite effects. Uh, let's enable that. We will see it's doing a pretty good job. I think this is okay. Let's add the bloom. Bloom is going to be visible on the brightest areas of your image. Film damage, I don't like the film damage that much. I'm not going to enable that. Overscan is like uh, these parts of the image. It's showing in blue because our monitor is on. It's really great. Th these effects is like built into this plugin. One last thing that I would like to do. I want to create a color contrast my primaries. Okay, that's about it. This looks pretty great. So the Hanser actually did reach out to me for a tutorial and a review, uh, but they're not making me say anything. They also provided me a promotional code. If you use 
this code to buy the dehancer, you will get a 10% discount and I'll get a commission from that sale. If you buy it with my code, I would be really appreciated because that really helps this channel going. I think dehancer is really powerful, really versatile tool for your color grading workflow. If you are a beginner, I think it's not for you. But if you are a filmmaker or a colorist who needs more time and more comfort for your workflow and color grading methods, this is just a tool for you. And also, I think Dehancer is different in a lot of ways. There's like really great work behind this plugin. Anyway, before I close the video, I also want to mention that they're the newest update on their iOS app. They added new film damage tools, also improved its performance, various bug fixes and everything. You can actually do everything you saw in the tutorial. You can create great contents just on your phone. The app is pretty straightforward. You have presets ready to go. Also, you have the option to edit everything from the scratch. I think that's really mind-blowing. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to buy the Dehancer, don't forget to use my code and get your discount. And thank you for watching. Until the next video, take care.